Hey guys, one here. Today we are looking at Fortnite trap combinations. So we're going to look at some really useful combinations with traps that can deal a lot of damage or do a lot of CC. Let's get started. By the way, this is my personal opinion. So if you feel like there's other combinations that you can use, go ahead. It's just my personal opinion, so end of the day, if you enjoy what you use, go for it. Alright. Alright guys, here I'll let you see what I use for my wall, my defense for my storm shield. As you can see, wall darts, really useful with the retractable floor spikes. Because the wall darts, this one, if I were to make it like this high, it can shoot right over, all the way over here. Right, like this. So, wall darts, really useful if it's in a tunnel. At one end, shooting towards the other end. Sometimes you can even shoot it sideways too, if you really want to. For the retractable floor spikes, you can use them with any trap. Because they're really useful. Well, they're really useful for dealing out damage same with these wall dynamos wall dynamos and retractable floor spikes and wall darts that's the best combination for one tile per damage with um a ceiling zapper these ceiling zapper i don't have a good one that's why i'm not using it but using a ceiling zapper with those three combination plus ceiling zapper the four is the highest damage per tile so always remember to put these together if you want to dish out as much damage as possible in one go most of the time I would just use them for my storm shield such as this like right here I use it for these because this is like the last line of defense right and earlier on I would use different um, different types of traps so say over here I'll leave it blank these are for my wooden floor spikes I use these because these slow them down while these wild animals would just like start zapping them and you can also pair these with ceiling gas gas traps so these gas traps these slow them down the gas trap does damage over time these two combinations would burn their HP down to like nothing before they even reach to your base. So really really good combination. Also if there's a ramp right here, use uh, the tire drop, these traps. These traps are really really useful on ramps because once you put it down, they drop, they slide down the ramp onto this tile. So it does two tiles of damage for the value of one. Really really useful. Alright let's see what else we use. So for my base I would say 90% of the traps are wall darts, chocolate floor spikes, and launchers. Maybe some some freeze traps here and there but really rarely. I mainly use those three traps because they wall dynamos as well. I mainly use those three slash four traps because they do the most damage per tile and due to the new update they really really buff these traps so if you haven't seen the new update the new update makes it so that none of the traps proc the propane tanks right so if they were whacked down all these paths the propane tanks would just all gather up where they all die so it's really really useful if you want to kill everything as fast as possible dealing out the most damage but they cost quite a bit as you can see, the materials, they cost simple mechanical parts or sturdy mechanical parts or rusty mechanical parts. These are a lot harder to find. Well, most of your weapons use these, right? So let's say this, it uses simple mechanical parts, right? So it's really hard to use, really hard to find these while having enough for your weapon and your traps. So they're really costy. But they're really worth it. 
The only reason why I use a lot of wand animals is instead of wall darts is because I use rough ore instead of the simple mechanical parts, right? Does a lot of damage, but not as far range, but still really good. Other traps I use are these ceiling zappers, electric field zappers. They're really useful for the AOE damage because say if you're over here and I'm like over here, a monster or like a husk comes up right here, right? They enter this tile. This zapper can zap three by three. So three tiles by three tiles. So if I were to put one here, this guy could zap all the way over here, all the way over here, all the way over on this tile, but like on the upper floor right here. And over there, really, really big AOE damage. Really, really good if you want to AOE down, like here. If you want to AOE down all the monsters here, all the husks here, for example, this one, it can zap everything here, including this tile and this tile. Really, really high damage, AOE damage. Really, really good. All right, let's put all these traps into a test and see how they do. I'll use all my combinations and show you in game. All right, so let's put our my base like ideas into action. So here, this is a four by two by two. 4x4, four four, right? The 4x4 four four square right here. What I usually do is because the the storm is coming from this way, right? So I would just put down some of these like here so that once they drop off the cliff, these wall darts, I'm going to use wall darts here. These wall darts are just going to shoot them down. Well, shoot them. Nope, don't shoot them down. They shoot them. So it's really, really useful. Here, wall darts. One, two. Let's make one more. Yeah. Three, four. And then for these traps, I use retractable floor spikes. The reason why I use retractable floor spikes here is because when they come down, this is the best damage per tile, right? So they drop down here, damage, damage, damage at them, at one tile. Really, really useful. That's why I use them all the time. Here I put four more just in case they drop off this, at this cliff, and they will walk here. I'm also going to put low walls here, like these, for the wild animals. Remember how in my base there's wild animals? Yeah, I'm going to use it right here as well. And over here, I'm going to wall them off like this so that they don't walk down that path and only walk down this path why are you attacking my base this way that these guys will not walk down that way but walk down this ramp I'm also going to block off this path over here to promote them into walking that way instead of jumping off the cliff. Because sometimes the AI pathing might be a bit wonky and they might go down that way. Like this, alright? And I'm going to put a oh way. I don't have tire drops. Okay, I don't care. But for here, it should be a tire drop because if it activates, right, it drops. It rolls all the way down here. So really, really useful for the amount of materials you're using for one trap. Really, really worth it, I would say. And wall dynamos. Right here, and here, 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 and here. This is like the death path. No one's gonna survive these. Maybe like a uh, smasher would, but by the time smasher gets here, I will probably kill it already. All right, so this is what we use, right? So what other combinations we should, well, most people should be using is, is using wall launchers. 
So say you're over here. Right here. Having a wall launcher right here, pushing them into that hole, making them come back up. Really, really useful. Like this. Alright. This, you can even change it for a floor launcher. Put a slant over here. Knocks up. Bam. Into the hole. Alright. Once they're in the hole, they're going to have to come back up. Walk around through this trap and this trap. And come here and attack again. Really, really useful. So, always, always, if you see a ledge like this, push them. Always push them. Unless your base is down there. But, so there's no point in that. Another thing to use is wall darts here. Like right over here, use wall darts. The reason why I use wall darts here is because when they're pathing over here, they will still get hit by that. Use wall darts here, here, and here. Like that, and one here. One, two, three tiles, right? So if they're pathing over here, that's still going to shoot. Yep, these are the, ta the traps that I normally would use. You can also use traps like this, like one over here, and use the ceiling zapper. Oh, I have a ceiling drop trap. The ceiling zapper. Ceiling, no, not ceiling electric field. Yes, that's the name. Let's put the drop trap here. That's gonna drop and roll down, right? This is probably overkill, but this is what I do. If I need traps, I always go for overkill. You can never have too many traps now because the propane tanks will not proc from the traps. So really really good upgrade update this patch, the 1.9 patch. Remember how I said that... Okay so having the wooden floor spikes and the ceiling gas trap, these slow them down doing a lot of damage over time, right? So here... Let's use some ceiling wall traps. Interesting. Ceiling. Ceiling gas traps. Ceiling gas traps. That's what I meant. Whoa. Not today, chum. You're dead. See look, all these traps, it's just some like a murder. They're not going to do anything to the walls. Alright, so let's have a recap. One trap to do a lot of damage over time and slow is wooden floor spikes and ceiling gas traps. These do damage over time, these does damage over time, and it slows them down. So really good. This is combination number one that I use sometimes. Second combination is ramp, having a ramp here with wall dirt shooting directly at them, all right, and a tire drop right here. So this tire drop drops roll all the way down, all right. The third combination I use is wall darts, rhetorical force spikes, wall dynamos. These three combination really really high damage in one tile. Over here. It's wall darts, the ceiling electric field, the retractable floor spikes, and sometimes you can even have wall dynamos on the sides. Really high damage for one tile if you want to have like a repeated design all around it. Really, really good design. The balloon has landed. Uh, okay, <laughs> you guys are coming. That's good. Okay, the fourth design that I have wall launchers wall launchers pushes them down the into the pit and then comes back up all right really really useful so always have a if you see like um, a ledge here use a wall launcher push them in because the longer you can delay them the better it is see look my traps I don't even need to do anything they do all the work for me really really easy you can also use wall launchers with um, the wooden floor spikes because the wooden floor spikes will slow them down having you have enough time for the wall launcher to push them down. Really useful if you're like say on a ledge the only path that they can go through slow them down so that you can use the, f the wall launcher to its fullest. 
You can replace this trackable floor spike with um, a floor launcher. So let's just say this place, right? I'm going to make this an example. So I have one wall launcher, right? One one floor launcher, right? Another file. Have a slanted roof like this. Have a slanted roof like this, so that if these two are have different cooldowns, one would launch first, push it on, and then second one would come, launch up. You can rotate the, between these two traps. Really, really good combination if you have different cooldowns, such as mine. See, look, this cooldown right over here, it's reload time 6.5, 7.1. So if it's off by any amount, as long as not like by like 1.1 second, then it's a really good combination to put together like this. The way I use floor freeze traps is using two half low walls like this. So if they say jump off this cliff, right? They would have to path the long way. So it's like this. This is the long way, right? If they path through the long way, it's going to slow them down, giving more time for the freeze trap to activate and freeze them. This works especially well against smashers because smashers have really slow movement speed but sometimes they would just like barely pass and that would activate right or fully freeze them so having these low walls low half walls they're forced to zigzag into the trap giving you more time for the trap to activate leading for a frozen smasher really really useful some people don't even know that these freeze smashers that's why these traps really powerful against smashers I use them a lot as you can see right here I use them a lot alright guys thanks for watching and remember to comment down below on what you want to see like the video and if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more peace